One of the first things that you need to do when it comes to preparing for a divorce or for a succession is to differentiate property between community property and separate property. Because how they're handled in those two situations is very different. So, uh, community property is what you own together with your spouse. So that's the it belongs to the belongs to the community of the marriage. That's everything that you earned. It's basically everything that you got after you got married. So during the marriage. Uh, so any money that was earned during the marriage, uh, normally um, any interest on money that was earned even even on separate property. So uh, you know unless you've d done something to keep that separate. Uh, but basically anything anything that you you gathered during the marriage is your community property. Your separate property is stuff that you got before the marriage. Okay, or after the marriage, if you know, if after the divorce is filed. Um, <clears throat> now, um, additionally, it's anything that you received uh, separately, like a separate gift uh, that was like intended just for you, or like you know, maybe your spouse gave you a gift, like for Christmas or something like that. That's your separate property, um, and also any. Uh, any, any inheritance that you received during the marriage would be your separate property. All right, so that's those are the two categories, you know, community and separate. Gotta and you gotta know what column each thing that you have, which column that it needs to go into.